Uh, okay, we start with session two of uh, the system where we are going to be explaining you how the system integrates with the USB pen drive. Now, the USB pen drive can be used to store the uh, PLUs and upload the PLUs onto the um, scale. Now, what we've done is that we've created a simple Excel file on which we've created all the list of items that are there with the system along with the prices and we've downloaded onto this. And you can see that there is a a small LED that is blinking which shows that the the, uh, the USB is connected to the scale and what we're going to have here is that uh, we, we're going to see that presently there are items there on the scale so one PLU it shows apple, two PLU it shows potato, three PLU it shows onion, five PLU it shows a brinjal and so on you know all the items are loaded again what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a password to clear the item name 654987 Again, uh, this thing is going to clear all the PLUs so that we can show you how the uh, USB functions along with the scale. And um, it takes about 10 seconds to do it. Once it's cleared, it comes back and the whole thing uh, goes on. Now, on the background, it's deleting the, uh, the PLU list. Then it comes back. Now, when I press 1, PLU, it says again, no name. 2, PLU, it says no name. And so now what we're going to do is that we're going to simply press uh, function 1. Function 1. And it says the read from USB. The LED starts blinking very quickly. And, you know, it is reading from the USB. Once the file is read from the USB, it is again processed internally. And the uh, PLU list is uploaded, uploaded. And so now again, when I press 1, PLU, we find the same list has come back. 2. PLU it has come back. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's change one of the prices and then again reload the values. Say Apple is 17 rupees 90 pesos right now. I go and update the price from 1790 to say maybe 30 rupees a kg. Okay, you you sorry, that would be 30 rupees a kg. You've seen how easy it is to update the prices also and you know the scale values also and. Uh, I have a 2 PLU, it is potato 1990, 1 PLU, it is 30 rupees. So I'm going to update the prices again. So what we're doing is we're practically overriding the values uh, that are being uh, on, the, uh, on, this, on this USB as if it was updated in the morning and uh, pushed in. So I said press function and 1. It starts again reading from the USB. Now the old values, we've already edited the value of price of the apple on the scale, but we, we're going to be reading it again. So this could be, be reading. 100, 200, 500, or 1000 items, whatever number of items there are, and we go to check the rates again. One PLU, there it's back with 1790. So, what it means is updating the prices is very easy. You could also uh, do uh, a dump of reports, you could dump your sales report onto a pen drive, and you can send it to your uh, head office or customers where you don't have an internet connectivity. So, this basically makes it very simple to collect the data and send it to the central server where the data can be processed and your sales can be processed. Now, we go back to um, uh, more uh, understanding how the whole thing was working. We've made a small presentation which we would want to you know, present you when we are uh, with you on a personal basis. And this is telling us about what the whole thing is all about. And you know, this is, you know, we've, we call it smart virtual link using GSM, GPRS and SMS technologies which, facilitate, which is facilitating the remote updates and monitoring of the system. Now, what we have here is basically a, a, a POST a scale here and probably a consolidation terminal. Now, what you could have is that, um, uh, okay, let's talk about the ways we can communicate with this thing. Now, there are primarily three ways that we can communicate with the scale. That could be with a TCP IP connection, it could be an FTP where we are uploading and downloading the prices. Then on the third way, it could be an email. The scale could send you an email. Think of an example that the owner of the shop would want to have a sales report at the end of the day, uh, you know, on his mailbox or on his uh, iPhone, you know, so that he can know what, what's happening on the shop. So the scale can do it and can be customized. The next thing is an alarm or a remote command. Now, these from the central server, you could send, or from your iPhone, you could send the scale a command. Of, of course, it should be authenticated, and it's going to be authenticated with, with security layer, and uh, uh, so that the scale should update the prices, or it could be it could be commanded that you know you should send your update your uh, sales price right away. So that can also be done. 
Additionally, there is a GSM voice support. Since it's already housing a GSM modem, we could practically also provide a handset in, in some of the locations where you would want the, a helpline connected with the scale itself. I'm not sure if that's going to be done in your case or not, but yes, we do have that functionality and support available with it. We, are, we go on to the next slide. And what, what are the benefits that we're looking at? It has an independent SMS and GSM module. What it ha helps out is that you know you can you can upgrade your system. So you can start with smaller systems right now with your primary location and then update into many other locations. And also you could set up your networks, uh, you know, report data parameters indirectly from the server. So what could happen is that you could be setting up uh, the um, the modem and everything right from the scale itself, probably using a USB or even using a small PS2 keyboard that that can be used on this thing. And with the kind of features we're talking about, we are we talking about a remote locking of the a remote locking of the scale. For example, you know the scale is not sending you updates, prices, or it's not sending you the right. It's not selling on the uh, right values. You could send a command from the server to practically lock the scale, and it would require attention either to uh, synchronize from the server first before it does the next sale, or it could send on-demand shift reports. It could send a sales summary. It could. Basically, you can set up an alarm, or you could set up future rates for your uh, prices of your products, so that you know this, the. It, it, in other words, it means a future rate chart. What you could do is that instead of updating the prices tomorrow morning six o'clock, what what this thing can also be set up or customized to do is that uh, the it could download the prices at nine p.m. at night and then make them effective tomorrow morning at six o'clock. So things like that can also be implemented with this thing. Okay, we moving on to the next slide. I think you can have to come closer to see what's really happening. So we're going to look at it how it is practically working. Uh, it basically allows you to control your POS from a central server. You could on demand reporting via SMS commands, scheduled reporting, auto processing of data collected, and transfer to the central server. So practically, a basically allowing you monitoring and uh, having the status reports all on this thing so uh, the let's say what's the base features are it could you could update your daily rates from the servers you could uh, initiate remote device locking and locking you could set up scale parameters from a remote locations you could send sales data on an upload or you could do daily shift reporting it would be an hourly report weekly report or whatever plu sales report what items are hot selling at the moment or the, the gsm voice support or something so here what we have is that you know the data would practically originate from one level to the other and we're going to practically see how the data is going to be move on so we could also have some sort of a customer receipt an online sales receipt also giving to the customer the scales send the data to a terminal or to directly to the uh, GSM terminal and send it on the phone. So this could be some sort of an SMS or an alert to a customer if his phone number is updated in our database so that it can be, he can be sent an SMS. Also the sales data can then be sent to the SMS server also, you know, just to update this uh, sales data. This again is optional and, and it could be uh, one set of a network, a type of network that could be the thing. Additionally, a remote alarm could be set up by sending a data from the a phone or any other remote device or a mobile device right onto the pass and you see there is an alarm that's generated based on this alarm you know the scale or the pass can take an action to in, in, in further reverse send the data onto uh, some activity probably could send the sales data or it could do any other option as it has been programmed to do let's see how the GSM data and uh, reporting is going to work uh, on this thing, the sales data is stored on the POS scale and is consolidated, you know. So there are transactions that are being uploaded and stored inside this terminal. In, in, the, in this version of what we're going to suggest to the mother today is going to, this terminal is going to be part of the POS scale. So all the data is going to be stored inside this one and small pieces of data is going to store. All the consolidation that happens, a complete set of data is going to be moved on from the network and right onto your FTP server where it's going to come and rest. So you know, more chunks of data come there and rest out of the FTP server and uh, the, this completes the information transfer that is required through a GPRS connection. In, in a complete corporate solution, you know, it could be so that you have a SAP or an Oracle or an, any other ERP that's uh, sitting on the back end and our system can again then directly transfer the data 
onto a GSM GPRS network, transfer it back to the FTP server where again the thing can be integrated by your IT team into your SAPs, Oracles or any other ERP uh, that is there. It could so what we've seen here is a complete uh, info, a complete uh, information on how the data can be stored that is stored on your POS can transfer it onto your uh, backend databases and ERP and again brought back and those prices can be updated from those remote locations back onto your uh, scales and additionally other information uh, which is required to be transferred can be done. I hope this uh, demonstration was successful and uh, in, in making you understand how the whole system works and I thank you for, for your spending your time with me. Thanks.